All right, guys. Welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob, and today we're going to go ahead and get started pulling this axle out of the trailer. So we had a bunch of logs over there for our bonfire pit, which is full and needs to be uh, needs a a good bonfire. It's been too damn hot to have a bonfire, so we're waiting until it cools down to have us one. But anyway, uh, went ahead and got these logs right here to uh, jack that thing up so I can go ahead and take this axle out. Uh, we're getting ready to uh, take the uh, wheels off and uh, go from there. So stay tuned. guys let's try this one more time I'm having my air compressor hasn't impressed me yet so. I'll be a son of a bitch they don't want to come off Try the other side. I got another one for you right here. So we'll try this one and see what happens. Alright guys, I'm going to have to wait until the air compressor builds back up and do some extra stuff. Um, these have been on there for a long time, so I figured that was going to be the case. So anyway, stay tuned. We're going to try something different. Well, these things are a little too tight, so we're going to have to do this a different way. Take the whole hub off of it. Now, we're going to take the bearing out of it. And then we're going to stick the uh, nut back on there. And we're going to 
pull the seals and all. Thought it was. The nut's bigger than the uh, bearing. Cause that ain't gonna work that way. Normally, on a vehicle, if you put that bolt or nut back on there, you can take that and give it a good jerk and let that nut catch the bearing and the uh, seal and it'll pull it all out. Not in this case. And that bearing is seized on there. So it needs bearings too. But you guys can see right here. That's pretty thin right there. So we're probably going to end up having to cut these off because those threads are pretty rusty. Um, so, rather than to try, I'm just going to take the grinder and grind them off because I want to make new ones. I want to make new plates. So, um, that's what we're going to do. We're going to make new ones and make a new plate. And, uh, we're going to eventually take the springs out. We're going to take them apart and clean them up and paint them. And put a new band on it. As you can see, this band is pretty pretty wore out. So, um, and I'm going to go ahead and take this out. And um, we'll meet you at the bench. All right, guys. I've got some really, 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 really good news. <laughs> Man, I'm so tickled right now, it ain't funny. I just went and spent all that money for that actual, for no, that actual material for nothing. Um, I wanted to show you guys this. I don't know what it was, but this stuff right here was where... I thought the hole was rusted and it's real soft so I don't know what what that is but it made me think that the uh, axle was busted out and you guys seen it it looked like it was busted out and um, here it is with that scraped off that's just as solid as the day it was made all the way around so yeah, I don't need to replace the axle. I just need to clean this one up. And I'm hoping to God I can save this bearing right here because I know them things ain't cheap. It, it doesn't have any uh, roughness in it other than the little bit of grit that got in it when I dropped it on the ground. Um, I think these can be cleaned up and repacked. Now this one over here looks a little newer so um, I'm going to check and see how much the seals and the bearings cost at uh, Walmart because they do sell a bearing kit for this and uh, see how much that thing cost I might just go ahead and replace all the bearings in it and uh, the seals because that seal there is pretty bad shape so um, but anyway we're going to go ahead and get these bearings off of here and evaluate the bearings and see what what the deal is with it we may not have to spend any but uh this one's locked on there so it, it may it may not come off it's got a little wobble to it so nine times out of ten i'm gonna be replacing them but i gotta get them off so uh, right now what i'm doing is sanding and filing right here just to get the high spots off from the rust that was on it and hopefully we can grease that up and that'll we can bump that right off of there but the threads look pretty decent um, the axle itself looks pretty decent I don't have to build a new one that just means that I've got material for something else so um, I'm just gonna clean this one up and uh, 
be done with it. So uh, stay tuned for the next step, I guess. All right, guys. We got all the bearings cleaned up. Oh, and guess what? Found a place for my grizzly sign. And uh, I just put it back on my bench here so that I can uh, put things behind it and it wouldn't be out looking like trailer trash like we are. But anyway, um, uh, got the axle cleaned up, but they, I couldn't get but three of the lug nuts off of it with my impact and I've got two different ones and both neither one of them would take it off so I had to devise a plan on how to get them off well I don't have a uh, anything to hold it with so don't you guys laugh now this is how I came up with a way to fix that problem Yeah, let me start you off over here. I had two of those that came off of the uh, trailer, which is the, ra uh, the rails for the uh, boat to slide up on, and the 2 by 6s are pretty solid. So I just took a 2 by 6 and put it there, drilled me two holes in the 2 by 6 and ran an all thread all the way down through these holes right here on both sides and then I've got it wedged in there so that when I pull it's going to go up against this and that end is going to be held on that side so it won't twist on me so now let me get the tripod and we'll see how this works all right what I've got here is a breaker bar and a cheater bar. I already broke that one loose. So I just wanted you guys to see this work. Now watch, I won't be able to get the rest of them just because I'm showing you guys here. There's Three. All right, man. More than one way to skin a cat. So now we can take this wheel loose. part about it is it's, it's got anti-seize right on it so I don't understand why it seized up like that of course this trailer has been a long time setting so I would imagine everything's going to be tight on it it won't be when I'm done couldn't get the hub out of the wheel so this is how I had to do it Now when y'all get done laughing, y'all can try this yourself. <laughs> so now we'll take these bolts loose. And uh, these, uh, these wheels, I don't think, were the original wheels. Somebody has cut that out to fit this hole. Now we'll take this off.
off. And we'll set the next one on there. And we'll do the same thing to it. This one must be a wider wheel. this one and see if it comes loose. some penetrating oil on that one. That's how a redneck without a tar changer just tars their wheels off of the axe or the uh, hubs. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to change these tars, but we're going to try. But that's on another video. We ain't ready for that. And the good news is the bearings are in good shape. Bind their bearings. That's how you get a stubborn bolt out of a hub. Take your small threads. I measured 10 inches, which was what the holes were apart. And uh, worked out pretty good. And we might use this also to take the tar off of it. So we'll see how that works out. So the next thing we gotta do is clean these up and uh, repaint them and chase the threads if I've got a, a dial that big and um, the lug nuts look pretty good with the lug bolts um, they were just tight anyway there you have it how to get the uh, hubs off the wheels Alright guys, now we're going to paint this uh, axle. I've already painted a bunch of the parts.
right, guys. I got carried away. It's gonna rain. I wanted to get it done. Uh, didn't want to fight with no camera, so uh, figured I'd just show it when all the pieces are painted and cleaned up and ready to get back together. Uh, cleaned up the caps for greasing it. All the bearings look pretty good. Nice and clean. Even the seals look pretty good. Now that one's got a little dent in it, but uh, I'm not too worried about that as long as the inside's fine. And the inside looks pretty nice. It's not cracked up or anything. So I can reuse everything. Uh, now the races are a different story. They got a little wear on, on one of them. But I don't know, it depends on how much in bearing races or bearing kits are. I may just go ahead and put new bearing kits in it. I don't know. Uh, depends on how the finances go. Now the rubber bushings were uh, pretty much disintegrated on one side. So I figured out a way to make a bushing for this. And what I've got is this piece of pipe right here, which is uh, PVC, I think, uh, three-quarter, uh, I don't know what, what all these numbers mean, but uh, it will fit right in there, nice and snug, all right? And it's really snug, I'm going to have to tap them in. And then once I've got that part in there, I'm going to leave, uh, or I'm going to cut it even with this, and then I'm going to have a, a washer that goes on on both sides of it. I don't know what I'm going to make the washer out of yet. I might just have some washers here that might work anyway. But my plan is to put that in there just like that. See what kind it is. It's real thin walled stuff. But because my bolt is 3 8 that's too big. That's a half inch hole. So I decided since this in here slides right into it, nice and comfortable, uh, I can use that for the inner part of it and uh, make two of them, a small one and a big one put them inside of each other and that's still more of a bushing than what was in it and uh, I think that's gonna work just fine we'll find out in the next part uh, just wanted to show you the springs done all the bearings are clean the axles clean I was able to reuse this axle because there's nothing wrong with it um, Apparently, it was a quarter inch thick of grease, hard grease, and somehow it just bubbled out and made it look like the metal had ex exploded. Well, I went to uh, chip on it and it was soft. So, I said, wait a minute, something ain't right here. So I went and got a scraper and scraped it, and it all scraped off, and it was just as flat as the rest of it and solid as the rest of it, and I said, shit, I got lucky. <laughs> so then, uh, now I don't have to make an axle. And um, the axle's made or is done. It's all ready to put back together. The only thing i got to do is make the U-bolt. Uh, and I think, I'm going to make it out of uh, this stuff right here. I got some solid steel dowel rods that came off of a lawn chair system. And uh, I'm just going to use these for my U-bolt and uh, thread them. And uh, then these plates, as you can see, they um, warped. 
So I'm going to make a new set of these out of some heavier steel, nicer steel, for the uh, plates, for the um, uh, U-bolts to hold the thing up to the uh, springs. Um, I think that should be the only thing left to do. Make two new of the, two more of these. Oh, and then I got to make a band to go around uh, one side over here because the band that holds these things from shifting back and forth from each other, uh, it was rusted all to pieces. So I got to make two new bands to go right here in this spot right here because that's where they were originally. So we're going to put it back original. And I think I do have some of that rubber that has lips on each side of it somewhere that I took off of something. And uh, even if I don't, I'll have something to work. So that's where we stand. And this, this is going to end this portion of the uh, trailer rebuild or build. And... Uh, I gotta get some grease because I don't have enough axle grease to do these uh, pack bearings and all other stuff. And I'll show you how to pack, how I pack bearings when that time comes, which would probably be in the next one. Um, other than that, we're cleaned up and looking all pretty again. So, uh, I wanted to uh, mention some uh, uh, something on my channel. Somebody asked me how they could support me, and I'm like, well, that would be a good content for my video. Let me scoot you all up here so you can see me. Um, anytime you're watching the video, any of my videos, or anybody's video for that matter, uh, when you see that commercial come on at the beginning, uh, when, if you let that commercial go all the way through without skipping it, that helps. It, it, it's only a couple cents, but it's, it's, it's better than nothing. Uh, you know, Support us in that way. Uh, when you hit the like button, that, that gets us money. Uh, when you share, uh, I'm sure you got friends that uh, would like to see the same stuff. If you like it, nine times out of ten, your friends are going to like it because most people don't hang around with friends that don't like what they like. So <laughs> it's a no-brainer. Share it. Uh, any share and like and... Uh, subscribes are greatly appreciated and uh, that's how you can support uh, anybody's channel on YouTube is just them three things share like and uh, watch let the video play through if it's one of the long ones just go take a bathroom break while it's running and come back and catch it when we get back on there but anyway enough rambling thought I'd mention that um, I guess we'll end this with, I can't remember what part this is, I'll find out when I go in to edit, and uh, we'll see you on the next one, you guys have a good one, later.